The talk of the town for Gamecock football the last two weeks has been centered around their new starting quarterback, Ryan Helensky. Ryan's family, his mom Kim, his dad Mark, and his older brother Kelly picked up everything from their home in California to move to Columbia to find a community embracing them as they continue to work through a heartbreaking tragedy. Here's something you might not have known. Ryan's older brother, Tyler, who also played quarterback, he played at Washington State. He took his own life back in January of last year. Tyler was diagnosed with chronic traumatic encephaly, better known as CTE. The family explains how through their organization, uh, they hope that they'll be shedding a light on mental health for student athletes when the Gamecocks uh, take on the Crimson Tride on Saturday. He's not here. I mean, that's every day. It's a, it's a struggle for us, you know. We grieve still every day. I mean, he was our buddy. You know, he was everybody's buddy, really. And um, we, we just miss him so much. We had no idea that Tata was suffering. He, we say that he was most likely suffering in silence. No one saw any anxiety or depression. And we realized that if it could happen to Tyler, if Tata could die by suicide, how many other people can this happen to? Tyler! His parents didn't see it. The ones that all we cared about was his health and his safety and his good fortune and his hard work and his friendships and stuff. And we were looking for it. Now, you know, hindsight being what it is, we, we do it every day. We go back to, you know, the months before he passed. What had changed? Yeah, was he a little more withdrawn? Maybe. Yeah, I, I guess we could say that. Was he a little shorter in his responses and stuff? Yeah, but we'd call him on it. When he passed, we turned around and looked at that and said, and we still do, what, what, what in the world did we miss? What his brothers miss? What is his extended family, his cousins? Could, did anybody see this? His teammates. Soon after um, Totter passed, and, and it was up in Pullman, and Kelly and I actually sat down in the hotel lobby and we started talking about it. And, you know, we're in a shock and a fog. It has this quote on his Twitter page, and it says, um, They say you die twice once when you take your last breath, and then once when someone says your name for the last time. And Kelly said, I'm not going to let my brother die twice. We came up with Helinski's Hope, and really what we're focusing on right now is raising awareness and trying to eradicate the stigma and fund programs for our student athletes that provide them with tools to support their mental wellness. Helinski's Hope is trying to uh, build the programmatic responses, that, so the training that goes with it, the measurement, the ability to self-identify where your strengths and weaknesses are and improve those as a university. We hope to save lives. It's way too high a price to pay. We moved to uh, Lake Murray in January. So all of our, we lived in California our whole lives. The boys grew up there, moved everything out. Um, when Ryan started school, you know, he was an early commit. The, the idea was in order to sort of you know, draw attention to mental health in, in sports. The entire stadium stand and hold three fingers in the air at the beginning of the third quarter in solidarity that we're here for each other, that we recognize that this problem isn't going away and that we gotta love on these kids a little bit in a different way and, and do it publicly. Doesn't cost any money, doesn't take any time. Those are the things you hope for because we're not gonna sit here and solve all the problems for sure. We're just trying to be the catalyst to keep knocking this. What a great way to knock down stigma is to sit there and say, I understand what happened. And I understand what happened, not just to the Linsky family, but to so many great people in this country and in the state of South Carolina. For kids to come up or fans to come up with an idea to, to sort of bring awareness, Kim's point, knock down the stigma at a game. Wow, how cool is that? I still feel the spirit and his soul and his goodness around me. Thank you.